is worthy to be adored, is worthy to be glorified. I appreciate the name of God for sleeping and waking up, seeing this 11th day in the fourth month of the year. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Worship him with the fruit of your lips. Thank God for what he has been doing since on Monday. I appreciate the name of God that answer prayer. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Worship him, magnify his only name, Luakatali Bozonto. Ezia Katali Katoli Kazanta. La Kwatali Kazandari Bozonto. Ali Katoli Kazandari Bozonto. Maswa Katali Katoli Kazanta. Ezua Katali Katoli Bozonto. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah 65, verse 24. And it shall come to pass, when you ask, before they speak, the Lord say, we will answer. When we are yet asking, the Lord say, we will hear us. Beloved, pray and say, Father, whatever that will not allow my voice to be heard, Father, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that I want to stand before me this morning, for my voice not to be heard in prayer. Father, please show me mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your mercy, O Lord, Father, every disqualification of man over my life, over my household. Father, show me mercy, Lord. Every allegation in the hand of the household enemy in my hand or in my life, O Lord. Father, show me mercy, Lord. Elia Katali Kasanta, La Kwatali Bozondori Kasanta. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. In this season of post resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we love and say, Father, I want your visitation this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Master Jesus, as you are going by, please don't pass me by. Let your power come upon me, begin to ask for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Trinity, we welcome you earlier, Catali Bozonto. Asia Catali Catoli Basanta. Le Quatali Catali Bozonto. Asia Catali Cazandari Bozonto. Malua Catali Catoli Cazandari Bozonto. Ze Quatali Bozandari Cazanta. Appreciate the name of God. Exalt his holy name. Thank you because before you ask, he has answered your prayer. Give him praise, give him glory because as you are here speaking, he has heard you. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Declare this morning's service open. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, you are God. So, so, so God. Lord, you are God. You are wonderful. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, declare. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are so kind. Lord, you are so God. You are wonderful. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, my God. Hey, excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, my God. You are excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Excellent is your power. You are so good. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, my God. your praise. Come on. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. Come on. Declare, declare. Excellent 
the most high You are worthy You are worthy Worthy of my praise You are the most high You are worthy You are Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. It's time for our intercessory prayers. Isaiah 62, verse 6 to 7. I have said to wash men upon the walls of Jerusalem, who shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yet that make mention of the Lord, keep no silent. And give him no rest till they establish and till he make Jerusalem a place in the earth. Let's cry to God and say, My Father, my Father. Say, my Father, my God, we ask for a spirit of grace and supplication in the place of prayer for every member of this great church. <coughs> God said, the international church to pray to the point of answer and reward this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, we ask for a spirit of grace and supplication in the place of prayer for every member of this great church. God said, the international church to pray to the point of answer and reward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nashaka parada ba yagadosa, elekwa praja ya praja ba da barerosa, elekwa prado malada praja yagadash, le e prado ba chada praja yagadagerosa. My Father, my God, we ask for the spirit of grace and supplication in the place of prayer for every member of this church and those that are connected to her. To pray to the point of answer, to pray to the point of reward, this month of April, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mashala da praya banarusha, era kwa pasha gabara da brigirusha, masanto praya gabara da brigirusha, jaga bara da praya gada, e maso praya gadosha, masanto praya gadosha. The spirit of grace and supplication. To pray to the point of answer and reward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Majale Prato Mashata, Ele Kwa Praje Gabarosha, Mele E Prato Masha Gabarabarosha. Find you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Acts chapter 6, verse 7. And the word of God increased, and the number of disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, 
and a great company of the priests are obedient to the faith. Let's cry to God and say, My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that the attendance of this great church, God's international church, be multiplied and increased supernaturally this month of April to the glory of your name, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask that the attendance of this church be supernaturally increased, be supernaturally multiplied. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Jagabana Brigirusha, and let what Prasha Dabada Brigirush, let a Pratoba Shagabada Banarash, my Shaka Praya Bada Banabirush, and let what Pasha Gabarada Brigirish, my Santa Praya Gabada Banarusha, my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are that the attendance of this great church, God's international church, be multiplied and increase supernaturally this month to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Shaka Praya Bada Banerusha, and my Santa Praya Bada Banerusha, Shaka Parada Praya Gatadasha, and Requa Prashaka Parada Banerus, my Santa Praya Parada Banerus, and Requa Prashaka Paradas. E ma sha tu pra ya gadosa e pa ya pra kata gadosa e le kwa pra sha ta ba da berusa ma sha ka pra ya kata gadosa e le pra tu ba ra gadosa e pa ra do ma ya gadosa e sha ka ba ra da ta thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we are praying josh chapter 6 verse 3 it is the spirit that quickness the flesh profit and nothing the world that has speak unto you they are spirit and they are life Let's cry to God and say, My Father, my Father, say, My Father, my God, let the Holy Spirit breathe upon our materials, our flyers, our swords, our bulletins, and others, turning them into spiritual magnets, thereby attracting or president and abiding multitude into this great church, causing it a national church this Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, let the Holy Spirit breathe upon our materials, our flyers, our swords, our bulletins, and others turning them into spiritual magnets, thereby drafting or presidented or by the multitude into this great church, God said it and not church this Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Jaka Barada Brigirusha, and let what Prata Bada Brigirus, my Jaka Prata Barada Brigirus, and let what Prashaka Bada Brigirus, and my Jaka Praya Gadagada, let the Holy Ghost breathe upon our materials, our trash, our flyers, our bulletin, and others turning them into spiritual magnets, chair by chapter, or presidented, or by the multitude, into this great church, this coming Sunday, a special anointing service, in the name of Jesus. Squash, my Jacca Bara de Virus, El Equa Prada Banerus, my Jacca Praia Banerus, and my Santa Brigadas, my Jacca Praia Gadas, and let you a Praia Banerus, my Jacca Praia Banerus, and Requa Praia Gadas. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Matthew 13, verse 39. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers and the angels. Let's cry to God and say, My Father, my Father. This patch of river angels into all our harvest fish, mobilizing over flooded and by the crowd into this great church, God's the international church, this Sunday for their deliverance, for their healings, for their rescue and restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, my father, this patch of river angels into all our harvest fish, mobilizing over flooded and by the crowd into this great church, God's the international church, this Sunday. For their deliverances, for their healings, for their rescues and restorations in the mighty name of Jesus. My Shaka Parada Brirosha, and let what Praja Gagarosha, let what Prada Barada Brirosh, and my Shaka Praya Gadosha, my Santa Praya Gagados, and my Janta Praya Gadash, let it Prato by Yabriroska, Shaka Paragadagadas, and let what Praya Gadasha, my Santo Praya Brirosha, let it Prato by Yabriroska, Shaka Paragada. The spot of the in this law into all our harvest fish, mobilizing over flooded and by the crowd into this great church, God said it, and not to not church, they sound them for their deliverances, for their healings, their rescues and restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Mashaka Baradosa, 
Eleko praya berdosa, mazanta praya berdosa, mazaga praya berdosa, le prada bana berdosa, jaka parada berdosa, jaka parakadas, eratu praja kadosa, baca rata prakadasa, eratu praja kadosa. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Very powerful. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Let's give Jesus a big clap of rain. Alleluia. And please take your seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. You are welcome to morning dew. This is the 11th day of the month of April. It is time for our daily devotional. And today's topic says provoking divine blessings. Provoking divine blessing. Text is taken from Genesis chapter 27. I read from verse 4. Genesis chapter 27, verse 4. I read, I make me savory meats, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Words of wisdom says, Until you stir the blessing, you may not smell abundance. God is not for the Christmas. What we get from him is determined by the step we take towards him. James chapter 4, verse 8. James chapter 4, verse 8. Somehow you are the one that determines the event and the outcome of your life by the action or inaction. You can provoke your blessings by your actions. God only blesses you according to your capacity to bless others. If you desire the blessing of God, then be a blessing to both God and to man. The blessing of God is a non-negotiable secret of abundance and surplus. It's a non-negotiable secret of abundance and surplus. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, God blessed Adam and said to him, Because of this blessing that is on you, be fruitful, multiply, saturate the earth, bring it under control, and subdue it. That is paraphrased. This means wherever you find a blessing, fruitfulness, multiplication, replenishment, subjugation, and dominion must follow. Apart from Adam, God blessed Abraham also. God blessed Abraham also. Abraham was so blessed that he became a blessing to his generation. The blessing landed upon Abraham, upon Isaac, and then on Jacob. You can see that in Genesis chapter 24, when you read verse 1 and also verse 35. Of that of Isaac, you see that in Genesis chapter 2, 25, verse 5. And that of Jacob also, in Genesis chapter 27, verse 21, and verse 29. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did not end empty-handed in life. Therefore, anyone that will be partakers of that blessing, you will never end empty-handed in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, it is an abomination to be empty-handed with the blessing. It is an abomination to have a dry account, a dry career, a dry ministry, or a dry business with a blessing. The blessing is superior to money, properties, or human connections. When you look into Genesis chapter 26, you read from verse 1 to 14, you find out that. And what is our assignment today? Assignment number one, do all you can to provoke the blessing of God. Do all you can to provoke the blessing of God. Next, be consistent in your covenant practices of tithing, and of giving. Shall we rise up on our feet as we take the following prayer point to Almighty God. Lift up your voice to God and say, Father, I thank you for showing me the way of divine blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to God and say, Father, I receive divine ability to provoke heavenly blessings that will terminate struggle in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to him and say, Father, I make a demand that the power of fruitfulness shall rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer number four, say, Father, by your blessing, I shall begin to experience increase and expansion in the mighty name of Jesus.
cry to God and say, Father, I receive power to dominate in my area of specialization in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to him and say, Father, bless me and make me a blessing to my generation and generations to come in the name of Jesus. Prayer number seven, say, Father, every power that wants me to end this mood empty-handed shall be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to him and say, Father, let all our business and career members begin to see superb results over their little efforts in the mighty name of Jesus. Cry to God and say, Father, empower all our full soldiers in all our harvest field with divine wisdom to produce amazing results in soul winning this month of April in the mighty name of Jesus. Lastly, say, Father, specially empower the senior pastor, Pastor Matthew, and Pastor Mrs. Mary Morakio for outstanding results in their assignments in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost, Maliga Zuta, Eleba Rota, Shagalagarabados, Ikato Mazenti, Legedia Barata, Shalagareta, Helia Badabarush, Makazanta Legarota, Ikado Mazuta, Shalagadagadagarush, Embragazita. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please straight forward to have for the senior pastor's prophetic declaration. I decree and declare that every heaven that is closed over your head be open and release the downpour of heavens right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Three powerful amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. And please do have your sister, man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to church. You are welcome to morning dew. It is time for amazing testimonies. In morning dew this morning, we have so many testimonies. But we want to take two. And as you listen, you are the next for miracles and testimonies in the name of Jesus. The first testimony this morning is coming from Sister Adekemi. Sister Adekemi, lump in the breast, vanish during Mount Zion hour service. Lump in the breast, vanished during Mount Zion hour service. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and the gift of life. Last week, Wednesday, when I was having my bath, I felt something like a lump on my right breast. But I refused to accept it. Immediately, I started praying in the spirit and confessing the word of God that my body is the temple of the living God. I used my anointing oil on my breast and pleaded the blood of Jesus several times. I joined Hour of Possibility service on Wednesday with great expectations, but my word was not mentioned. Then the following day on Thursday in the evening, I came to Mount Zion Hour with that burden in my heart and with great expectation to have a counter with God. During the Mount Zion hour service on that Thursday, I told God that God, I will receive my word today. Brethren, indeed, the Lord answered me. During the Mount Zion hour service that day, our Father in the Lord gave the word of knowledge that a woman watching with pain in the breast, he said, that the arrow has returned back to the sender. Daddy also said that very 
Mount Zion, our service, that right now, your breast will not cut up and that the affliction will not metamorphosis to cancer. He also said, you are free and you will not die. And I shouted, Amen. Lo and behold, brethren, after the service, I sent a message to daddy to pray with me. And he said, the battle is over. It is cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. I said a big amen. Brethren, I am here to return all the glory to the almighty God. The God of Pastor Matthew Morakinio. That the Lord has indeed gone back to the sender. And never to return again in the mighty name of Jesus. I am free. Praise the Lord from Sister Adekemi. Come on, celebrate Jesus this morning. The second testimony this morning is coming from Sister Olaide. Sister Olaide waited for three years, compensated with triplet. Waited for three years, compensated with triplet. Just celebrate Jesus. I want to give thanks to God Almighty and also to judging faithful. I have a friend who has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for more than three years. I invited her to this church, God City International Church, and she started attending Sunday service, tag divine intervention. There was a particular Sunday service in November. Daddy said, you have waited enough. It is time to receive blessing. Daddy also went further and to ask us to request for mercy. I told my friend and she complied. Church, by January this year, my friend was confirmed that she's pregnant with triplet in her womb. I have returned to give honor to God that honor the word of his servant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From Sister Olaide, you are the next in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus and give him praise. Somebody will receive mercy from the Lord today in the name of Jesus. Let's give him praise and bless his holy name for the word that he has sent, for his healing, for the deliverance, for these testimonies. Let's give him praise and bless his holy name. It's a word to somebody that today is your day of mercy. Let's just thank him and give him praise. In my life I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. Oh, in my home, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Family, I have a reason to praise the Lord. Hey, I have a reason to praise the Lord. In my life, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see, oh, come and see, oh, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous. That is your song, very soon. Come and see, oh, come and see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come and see, oh, come and see, ah, come and see what the Lord has done in my 
Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous. Come and see. Come and see. Oh. Come and see. Come and see. Oh. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. He is marvelous in us. Say, my father, my father. I can't hear your voice. Say, my father, my father. I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for being alive today. I thank you. For sleeping and waking up. I thank you for good health and vitality. I thank you for nothing missing, nothing broken. I thank you for preservation of life and property. To you alone, Lord, be all the glory. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord all the times. This is a time you need to bless the Lord for all he has done for you. For all he has done for you. Give him praise. Give him praise for good health and vitality. Give him praise for waking you up this morning. Give him praise. Give him praise for ability to sleep and wake up. Give him praise. Give him praise for being alive this morning. Give him praise. Give him praise for the gift of life. Give him praise for good health and vitality. Give him praise for nothing missing, nothing broken. Give him praise for preservation of, of life and properties. Give him praise. Return all glory to him. Return all glory to him. Return all glory to him. Father, we are grateful. I am grateful, Lord. 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 I have come to return all glory to you. Maleko posa tayadida. Ela kosa tayamali predosa. Eleko pasudi ala tesi adiata. Eketo parada basanda li abliketeria. Ayala bosi adiamali prigadosa. Shata yaba le peruda. Ela santa yamali predosa balate. Ela santa yamali Brigadosa, Shaka Balagadi da Balagadi da Eko Pasantalia Bleketeria, Ayagada Balagadi da Balagadi da Eleke Posontolia Bleketeria. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. A better amen. Why men slept, the enemy came and sought us and went their way. Evil dream. Evil revelation will not manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. The works of the devil in your life, in your body, will not germinate in the name of Jesus. Cry out to God and say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Every evil seed, every evil plantation, every evil ministration of the enemy in my life, in my destiny, in my body, in my family. What are you waiting for? Will you die to your roots? In the name of Jesus, expire now, expire now, expire now, expire now, expire now, expire now. Evil seed of the wicked in my body, in my soul, in my spirit, in my family, in my destiny. Over the night, you will not germinate, you will not germinate, you will not germinate. Expire now, in the name of Jesus, expire now, in the name of Jesus, expire now, in the name of Jesus. Shako Pilata. A Picatoria, a Brigadosa, Shakapalete, a Brigadesia, La Cusataya, a Kitarodi, a Piradosa, Chantoliape, a Piaruda, a Satia, a Liacura, a Razida, a Caporida, a Santolia, a Caporida, a Baranlota, a Satiata, a Capelato, a Barubada, a Santolia, a Ria Basuda, evil bue plantation in the body of everyone connected and related to me. What are you waiting for? Aspire now. Aspire now. Aspire now. You will not germinate. You will not germinate. You will not grow. You will not grow in the name of Jesus. I destroy you. 
I destroy you by the power of the living God. I destroy you. Evil seed be destroyed. 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 Lekusa, Ikatoria, E Paradusa, Eliatusa, E Cantoria, Baruta Satire. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When man slept, enemy came and sought us. We are going to cancel every evil dream. Dreams that are bringing fear. Dreams that you say, ah, I had this kind of dream last year. And this has this, these are the negative things that I experienced. That dream will not happen in the name of Jesus. I said that dream, that evil dream will not happen in the name of Jesus. Cancel it now. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. By the blood of Jesus, I terminate, I terminate every evil dream over the night in the name of Jesus. Evil dream over the night, I terminate you in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and terminate it. Go ahead and terminate it. Evil dream will not manifest in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. It will not happen the way the enemy planned it. It will not happen the way the enemy planned it. It will not happen the way the enemy planned it. In the name of Jesus. Jacapola Capalatosa, Elia Caparadosa, Yagabalaga Dida, Arra Santalia, E Caporia Bo Santolida, Ayagada Badi Bida, Reto Santolia Bleketeria, Ayagada Badi Badi Bida Badido. Ayagada bali gada baru aga sandalia eketo poson tolia bleketeria ayagada balagadi da balagadi da ruaka son tolia bleketeria baluga sidi ya bale brigadosa ayagada balagadi bilibiri eria ba sandalia blakataria ayagada balagadi da balagadi da ruas sandalia bleketeria pako satu ya malia bleketeria ayagada bada badi bida bali bida ibu dream oya aspire 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 Inspire. You will no longer manifest in my life. The last manifestation is in last forever. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. That evil dog that always appeared to you in your dream is dead in the name of Jesus. That dog is dead in the name of Jesus. You obtain victory this morning in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34, verse 5. Psalm 34, verse 5. said, they look unto him and were lighting, and their faces were not ashamed. Let's cry to God and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Because I am in Zion this morning. To look at your face. Every shame and embarrassment the enemy has prepared for me. And any member of my family. Oh yeah, aspire in the name of Jesus. Aspire now. In the name of Jesus, shame and embarrassment, reproach that enemy has prepared for me because I am in Zion this morning, because I am with you this morning. Oh, yeah, aspire. I terminate them in the name of Jesus. Mashako Pilete, Ikato Parada. I will not know shame, I will not know embarrassment in the name of Jesus. Mashaga Balagadida, El Capo Laco Pisatayada, El Riada Santelia Blacataria, Ayagada Balagadida Balagadida. El leco pasandalia bleketeria ayagada balagadida balagadida el rasanta el rasenta el piacota el santalia el cato parata ayagada bada badida el rasanta liada that shame is terminated you will not know shame any money in the name of Jesus yakopi katoria el rasanta lia bleketeria thank you Father in Jesus mighty name we are praying. That money turning spirit around your life expire today in the name of Jesus. They are, they are guided, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Next prayer, verse 6 of Psalm 34. Said it, this poor man cried, and the Lord had him and saved him out of all his troubles. I go to crown to go and say, My father, my father. My father, my father. The Bible said that poor man cried. Any area where you have, uh, you, you don't have what you, what you want is the area you are poor. Sometimes poor does not mean poverty. 
when you lack a particular thing in that area, you are poor. And in that area is where you're supposed to what? To cry. You need to cry in that place so that God will deliver you. That poor man that, that does not have helper, that does not have anybody to help him, did what? Cried. And the Lord heard him. God will hear you today in Jesus' name. Say, my father, my father. Say it three times. Arise and deliver me from every trouble that is facing me right now. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer very well. If you know that God has capacity to deliver, if you believe that God can deliver you from that trouble, oh, lift your voice and cry unto God. Arise and deliver me from this trouble that is facing me right now. Oh, Lord, arise and deliver me from marital trouble. Arise and deliver me from financial trouble. Arise and deliver me from health trouble. Arise and deliver me from family trouble. Arise and deliver me from any form of trouble that is facing me right now. Oh Lord, arise, arise, arise. I don't have any helper other than you, Lord. Arise and help me. Arise and deliver me. Arise and deliver me. Arise and save me from this trouble, oh Lord. If you will not help me, there is no help anywhere. If you don't help me, there is no help anywhere. Jesus, arise and help me this morning. Arise and help me this morning. Santalia Bleketeria, Ayagada Balabadi Dada, Eleke Poson Tolia Bleketeria, Arrive and save me, O Lord, save me, O Lord, save me, O Lord, save me, O Lord, with my family, with my children, with my wife, with everyone connected to me, O Lord, arise and deliver us from every trouble, from every trouble, from every trouble, from every trouble, in the name of Jesus, Jacapo Sakata, Ayagada Balabadi Dada, Errato Santalia, Eriacapo Santalia. Every trouble, enemy prepared for me. Oh Lord, arise and save me from them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. A better amen. Next one, verse 7. Let the angel of the Lord encamp round about them that fear him and deliver them. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. We are going to cry to go and say, My father, my father, my father, my father, by the ministration of angels, deliver me from every arrow of the wicked, from every pit of the wicked, and from every plans of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, just pray that prayer very well. By the ministration of angels of this commission, by the ministration of angels of this commission, oh Lord, deliver me from every pit of the wicked, every plans of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I will not fall into their pit. I will not fall into their plans. I will not fall into their pit. I will not fall into their plans. In the name of Jesus, my shaky palata, every palata, send your angels, O oh Lord, send your angels, O oh Lord, to deliver me, to deliver me, to rescue me, to rescue me from the plans of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Jagabada bada bada bida, Eria ba Santalia bleketeria, Ayagada balagadi da balagadi da, Elekopo sotolia bleketeria, Eparadosia, Alanko pitale, Ela sotia badi, Ala kaparadosa, Ayagada bali bida, Ela zuatiata, Ayagada badi bida, Ela suda ya, Eleke porodo, Eria ba Santalia bli, Arua Santalia bleketeria, Raka posato ya, Ayagada bada badi da. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, before the word, verse 8 of Psalm 34. Said, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Say, O taste and see that the Lord is good. You will see the goodness of God today. In the name of Jesus. You will see the goodness of God today. In a higher dimension in the name of Jesus. Cry to God and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. 
Let me taste your goodness today. Let me taste your goodness today. Let me see your goodness today. Let me taste your goodness today. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God that can answer. There is a God that will answer. Today is our day. Today is the day of God that he has promised us. That he will give us good. He said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, Lord, let me see your goodness. 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 Let me taste your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Let me see your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Let me see your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Let me taste your goodness. Oh Lord, answer me today. 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 Riadasha. Ekepelatosa. Ayagada badida. Erwa Santalia. Ayagada badibido. Eriaba Santolia. Yagaba lagadida. Orokopata. Elekepeleto. Isabo yabadida. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. May heaven answer you today. May you see the goodness of God. May you taste it in the name of Jesus. May you be the distributor of the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, all your pending prayer requests today, take answer in the name of Jesus. Receive answer in the name of Jesus. Receive answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. To the powerful amen. 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 And amen. Jam your hands together. Give him praise and bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Accept our praises and thanks given in Jesus' name. In a moment, Holy Spirit, we ask that you speak to us in the name of Jesus. Let your word come with razor sharp, accuracy, precision, that we attack everything that is, attack the that is attacking the destiny of everyone here today in the name of Jesus. And at the end of the day, all glory shall be yours because everyone will have answer to all their requests in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I want again to thank Almighty God for the opportunity to be in the presence of God's people, God City International Church. And I want to thank my parents in the Lord for the opportunity to stand in the gap for them this morning. I pray the, the, anointing, the anointing of God upon their life will continue to grow higher in the name of Jesus. Higher dimension in every area in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Quickly, today is the part four of I have my answers. I have my answer. Can you say to yourself, I have my answer? I have my answer. I have my answer. It will manifest in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 7, 7 to 12. Quickly. Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 12. Uh, chapter 7. Beg your pardon. Matthew chapter 7, 7 to 12. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8. I hope you are following. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Meaning that everyone that will not ask is not qualified to receive. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If you will not knock, don't expect opening. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, we he give him a stone. Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven, who is, <laughs> his nature is goodness, give good things to them that ask him. Verse 12 and the last. Therefore, all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are looking at, I have my answer. 
But before answer comes, there must be something. There must be a question. And where are you expecting your answer? You are expecting your answer from the Lord, not from man. And any question we are asking God, as a child of God, should be in form of prayer. So what you have your answer is that I ask, I receive what I ask of the Lord. I pray, I present my prayer request to God, and this God has answered me. So we need to take the first step of asking. And I believe we have been asking since January 1st. Or let's say, generally, the day fasting and prayer started. Coming to money due every day, Sunday service every Sunday, uh, part touch communal service every Monday, Mount Zion hour every Thursday, our possibility every Wednesday, asking and crying unto God, corporately and personally. God is a prayer answering God. So the prophetic word sent to us through our Father and the Lord is that this week you have your answer. I don't know what you have been asking God for, but this week you have your answer in the name of Jesus. What does it mean when we say, I have my answer? It means, number one, I have my testimonies of God's faithfulness. I have my testimony of God's faithfulness. This week, you will testify. You will testify. And that is why it is very, very important to testify whenever God has done anything for us. It's very, very good. Number one, to return all glory to God. Number two, to seal that thing that you receive from the Lord and tell the devil, to, to make the enemy to weep again and say, yeah, he has gotten it again. It's an arrow from this kingdom to the darkness, to the world of darkness when we testify. It is a weapon to conquer the devil finally. So anytime you are not testifying of what God has done, you are not using the weapon that God has given to you. Said so they overcame him by the blood of Jesus and what? And the word of their testimony. Not an ordinary weapon. It's a weapon that overcome. Number two, I have evidences to show for my continual presence in Zion. I have evidences to show for my continual presence in Zion. You know, there are many people that will be mocking you. You may not know. Some you are aware. They were mocking you that you are coming to church every time, every day, especially this morning. Do night, we know. In fact, before you are, you can't meet him at home. And he said, they will even say you are lazy. That is why you are going to church. There are many of us that they are told like that. That because uh, it's because uh, uh, his the hand is swell. Oh, well, who? He cannot work. That is why I say go call him. But God is saying. I will give you evidence to silence all those one in the name of Jesus. Evidences. Evidences. Number three. There are, these are my results that I ask for. These are my results that I ask for. That is it, number three meaning. That is, you are able to showcase that this is my Samuel. Sarah, come out. This is my Isaac. This is the certificate. You say you go to school. Where is the certificate? This is it. So in results that silence insults and close the mouth of mockers. Hallelujah. Then number four. Come and see my result. Come and see my result. That is the meaning. That is when you don't need to say it. You don't need to talk now. As you are going, they see, wow, uh -uh, who is the owner of that vehicle that is parked outside there? And they see at the back of the vehicle, they see your name. Uh, 
Is it the same uh, as Molo that I used to know? They will say, ah, yes. It's the same. Look at the surname now behind it. Ah, they say, wow. They look at the estate and see the name. Very clear. Uh -uh. Who owns this estate? Ca can't you see? It, your name clearly written. Everything. Everything that pertains to you is talking and giving glory to God. That is, come and see. Come and see. Come and see. It's a kind of testimony that, that preaches the gospel. You don't need to talk to people. You don't need to talk much before they surrender their life to Jesus. Before we go further, I remember a testimony of uh, Daddy Gio. He said he went to his village at a particular time. And uh, almost the, the village, they came out for a particular occasion. I said, they said they are building, they built something and uh, he, maybe to dedicate. He just went there. And almost all of them, they are, they are not born again. They are uh, either worshiper or the other side. And he just came up and said, eh? every one of you know me. You know my father. That my father is the is the person that the poor in the city, we, in, the, in the village we see, and call and say, this is the poor. Say the poor in that city, in that, in that their village, call their family poor. Because of the level of their poor. poor, poor, poor. Say, but by the time God changed his life, he built something in that city, came with powerful car in, to that program, and everyone was looking at him. And I said, okay, I don't need to talk much. Uh, this is it. This is what God has done. This is what we have done. You know me. You know my father. You know my family. You know my sister. You know I'm from this village. So God has turned my life around. The same God that turned my life around, will you like to follow him? Say, everybody in that city, say yes. And they came out for altar call. That was all the message. There is no, the Bible says, there is no John, there is the waiting, there is no casting and binding. Just a result. Convert the whole city unto Christ. You will have that kind of result in the name of Jesus. That kind of result will come to you that will not need to gymnastic before you win so in the name of Jesus. When you have your answer, what are those things that you begin to see in the life of those people that have answer or in your life? Number one, there will be rain and long time dryness and scarcity will be terminated. Say amen. There will be a kind of rain that will terminate long time dryness and scarcity in your life when your answer comes. During the rainy season, everyone be kind. Ah, the heat is too much, the dryness is too much, and we will cry unto God for rain. We just need rain. In fact, the fan cannot do the work anymore. The fan is blowing hot. And before you know it, when God will answer, rain will fall and everywhere will be cool. All we need to terminate dryness in our life is the rain. That scarcity of Naira in your life now, is not, it does not need anything but rain of Naira. Rain of Naira. That thing that, you, that you look as if it's not working, you just need rain of her power of destiny. When rain of help of destiny surrounds you like this, you begin to see that what you call scarcity is not scarcity. That thing that is bringing result to you that every month you have a, a particular thing that you are receiving. If you have five like that, five stream of income that is watering your life, what, is, what can disturb you again? You just need a rain that terminates dryness. James chapter 5, 17 and 18. But before that rain come, you need to pray. And when you pray, answer will come. You will receive your answer today in the name of Jesus. James chapter 5, 17 and 18. Say, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not. On the earth, by the space of what? Of three years and six months. Verse 18. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. 
and the earth brought forth her fruit. The earth brought forth her fruit after the rain. That is why I pray for somebody today. The rain that will bring result into your life, that rain will fall in the name of Jesus. That rain will fall in the name of Jesus. Rain of help of destiny will fall in the name of Jesus. Rain of help of destiny will fall in the name of Jesus. Rain of help of destiny will fall and your scarcity will be terminated in the name of Jesus. Rain. Rain. When rain falls, the grass will begin to come out. The farmers will, 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 happy, will be happy. Even the birds of the air, they will be seeing them singing. Quack, 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 flying. Your season of joy has started in the name of Jesus. Number two, barren will become fruitful when your answer comes. When you receive your answer, the barren will become fruitful. What you call barrenness will become fruitfulness. Why? Because you have cried unto God at a certain time and he answered you. Anna, that was burning, became fruitful when he cried unto God. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, if you read from 1 to down to 17, that was like that. Particularly in verse 17. Particularly in verse 17. The Bible said, Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. We know the story very well. This woman was under serious attack of the uh, other wife, Pelina, mocking her every now and then, ridiculing her every time, every day. But the, there was a particular time he went to Silo just like this, and he cried unto God. In fact, he prayed in such a way that makes the man of God who was on the, uh, on the, on the altar said, uh -uh, you are drunk again. Why won't you carry your drunkenness and go? Instead of getting angry with the man of God, he said, no, daddy, this is what happened. I am a woman of sorrowful heart. I am just pouring my heart unto God. I want a child. I want a male child. That if God will just answer me and give me a male child, so, ah, so that he will just wipe away my tears. He said, okay, is that what you are asking? I thought you don't take Ogogoro. And I said, no, that, uh, no I, didn't, I, I never take him today. And I said, okay, your petition that you have been asking has been granted unto you. The Bible said that day his continents changed and he moved. By the time he will be returning, next he brought Samuel to Silo. You are coming back to this altar with your testimony in the name of Jesus. I say by the time you are returning to this altar, you are coming with your Samuel in the name of Jesus. Your testimony and your hands in the name of Jesus. When you have this thing, call answer prayer. Your mocker will be silenced. You will be, they will be silent. They will not be able to talk again because what they thought they have, where they thought they have conquered you, they will just see that you have more results than they, that they have. I pray for you today that God will give you results that will silence your insult in the name of Jesus. Number three, prophecy will become a manifestation. Prophecy will become a manifestation. I tell you, it's not every prophecy that comes to pass. It's not every prophecy that comes to manifestation. It is the prophecy that has answer over the prayer prayed upon. Because our Father Lord told us that uh, every prophecy must not be what You don't watch them to performance. You pray them to performance. So anyone that has prophecy on his head has been given an assignment of what? Assignment of prayer. And when you pray, over prophecy, which is the word of God, which is the will of God for your life, then answer has come. So when you have your answer, you will begin to see that eh, you, the manifestation of your original glory has come. The life of Jacob, Genesis chapter 32, 24 to 28, he prayed in that place and he got answer. He got answer and there, is a, there was a manifestation of what God has told his parents. Before his birth, the Bible said the mother went to God for prayer and said, I am having trouble in my, in my tummy. What is it? And God told him that said, there are two nations in your belly. Say, 
two nations are in your belly. Say the younger will be greater than the elder. Say the elder will serve the younger. He said, okay. On the day of blessing, the father still blessed Jacob and said, you, the, you, you will be greater than your, than your brother will serve you. But for over 20 years, this prophecy, these things didn't come to pass in the life of Jacob. Even when Jacob was coming back from Laban's house and uh, he has gotten some weight, as he was coming, he said, ah, uh, let me go and see my brother. My brother is having uh, grudges with, with me. Let me beg him. And he gathered some things, gathered like 200 and this thing and that. And he said, I want to give it to Esau. Esau looked at him and said, hey, is it me that you are bringing these things to? I am more than this now. I am more than, what, what? I don't need it. He actually rejected it. He said, I don't need it. Because he was richer than Jacob. If he's not richer than Jacob, he wouldn't have rejected it. He said, I don't need it. I was mocking him. I see him mocking him. I said, hey, say you are going to be greater. Where, what, where is your, this thing? There are many prophecies over your head that people are mocking now today. But I tell you, after now, you begin to see the manifestation of that prophecy in the name of Jesus. They say that you cannot amount to anything. Even when you have said it that you are going to be great. But I'm telling you today, that manifestation is beginning now in the name of Jesus. That prophecy is coming to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. And they will see it. They will see it. On that day, in Genesis 32, 24 to 28, he prayed, he was left alone, and he prayed that prayer. But the Bible said he wrestled. He wrestled with a man until the breaking of the day. And at the end of the day, he said, God bless him there. In fact, his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. And that was the manifestation. He became a nation that day. He has been coming, he has, the, the prophecy of you, you will be a nation, come to pass after that prayer. So I pray for you today that your answer has come in the name of Jesus and your prophecy has turned to manifestation in Jesus' name. You will no longer be where the enemy wants you to be in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be where your enemy wants to, want you to be in the name of Jesus. God will give you results that will silence your mockery in the name of Jesus. Number next. Is it number three or number two? Eh, number Okay, thank you. Affliction, sickness, and diseases will end when your prayer comes. Somebody shout hallelujah. Affliction, sickness, and diseases will be terminated when you have your result. There are many that, in, that they are languishing in sickness and affliction now because they are yet to receive their answer. Or more probably they have not asked the right person. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 22. Matthew chapter 9, 20 to 22. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind and touched the hem of his garment. For he said, that is his prayer, within herself, that I may touch his garment and I shall be made whole. That was her prayer. Silent prayer, not a loud one. And, but Jesus turned him about and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. This woman has spent all her money. In the hand. He has suffered in the hand of physicians. They have used her body to do experiments. They have used her body to do experiments. They have collected her money. And yet, we are his, directing his prayer to there was no answer there. The Bible said he grew worse. He grew worse. There was no, there was no answer to all our prayer, to all our petition, towards that direction. But the, a day came because even the affliction has turned to reproach to the extent that people tag name her, the woman with the issue of blood. That when the woman is walking, you don't need to trade, you don't need to say where is uh, the woman. All you need to do is to be looking for the blood. Because wherever she go, blood drip. Blood drop on the floor. Blood drop on the floor. And you'll be tracing her. Oh, she's here. In fact, when they were looking for her, because at the time where they were saying, hey, who touched me? And everybody was there. Uh, they now saw, ah, 
Is this woman now? Uh, look at the blood very close to Jesus. And they say, Ah, he said, I am the one. He said, Don't worry. Your faith has made you whole. Every affliction, disease, infirmity in the body of anyone here today or anyone connected to you, today an answer has come and they are terminated in the name of Jesus. Your healing come today in the name of Jesus. When your answer come, your healing come. When your answer come, your wholeness come. The woman has suffered that thing for 12 years. 12 years, complete years. But a day came when God answered her prayer. That day is today in the name of Jesus. I don't know the number of years, but I know there is somebody that has a name that is above every other name. In that name, that, that affliction is terminated in the name of Jesus. That affliction is terminated in the name of Jesus. The next one. Bondage and slavery we end. Bondage and slavery we end. Wherever you have been held captive by the enemy, as you cry unto God today, that bondage is terminated in the name of Jesus. That slavery is terminated in the name of Jesus. You will no longer serve your enemy in the name of Jesus. You will no longer labor loss in the name of Jesus. Bondage is terrible. Bondage is terrible. Bondage and slavery make people to walk and never see the result of the work that they are working. In fact, some you walk, you don't eat out of the work you walk. It's terrible. Until God deliver, there is no way the fellow can move forward in life. There was a particular woman that came to Power Touch some time ago. And our daddy prayed for her. She has been having a kind of bondage and slavery in the realm of the spirit, which is worse than the realm of the physical. This woman, what is her challenge? Anytime she sleeps, she will dream that uh, they carry her to a particular place to sit down, and they will be bringing plates, just like a plate that they use in maybe a restaurant or a party. They will gather place like a house and she will be washing. She will wash all these plates until she wake up. By the time she will wake up in the morning, body pains everywhere. There is nothing that this woman will do in the physical that will yield the result. Nothing works for her. Pains everywhere. Spending money on hospital bill and all the rest because she's working for somebody in the realm of the spirit. And a day came. Our daddy-in-law prayed and uh, she got delivered. So for the first time after that prayer, she slept and never had that dream. That was the turn around. And everything began to work, even for her and for the husband. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. God delivered her. Just the way the children of Israel cry unto God. In Exodus chapter 3, Verse 1 to 10. Give us Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Let's just quickly read that. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian, and he led flock to the backside of the desert. And he came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. Verse 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire, and in the midst of the. Verse 3. And Moses said, I will turn. Verse 4. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see God, to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the booth and said, Moses, Moses, and he said, here I am. Verse 5. And he said, draw near hither, put off thy shoe from off thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. Go ahead. Moreover, he said, I am God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and Moses he his face. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. I have heard what? Their cry. They have prayed to me and have heard by the reason of their taskmaster. For I know their sorrows. In verse 8 and the last. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians to bring them up 
out of that land unto a good land and a large land unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto a place of Canaanite, a Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. These places are the place that are kept for anyone that is in bondage. A land flowing with milk and honey, and they are in bondage. So anyone that is facing one challenge or the other, there is a place that devil didn't want you to reach. But I tell you today, as God is delivering you, you will get to your promised land in the name of Jesus. A land that is flowing with milk and honey, God will take you there in the name of Jesus. But you need to cry. You need to cry. You need to cry. You don't need to wash yourself. The Bible says, they cry and God's hard. I said, which kind of loudspeaker do they use? That God, somebody will cry on earth and God will hear the heaven. And the Holy Ghost says, the, the loudspeaker of faith. The loudspeaker of what? Of faith, determination, and consistency. So you need to continue to pray, be determined, and go for that. And God will hear you. Hallelujah. Lastly, let's just stop here. The miserable will become honorable when your answer comes. The miserable will become what? Honorable. A life that is not worth uh, of emulation, that is not worth of, uh, you cannot present that, such a life uh, elsewhere. God is saying such a life is becoming a life of honorable. First Chronicles chapter 4, 9 to 10. Quickly, First Chronicles chapter 4, 9 to 10. It's the story of Jabez. Say, and Jabez was more honorable than his brother. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called unto God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would have blessed me indeed, and let, enlarge my coast, and thy hand might be with me. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Everything that you request today from the Lord, God will grant unto you in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your better amen. The life of Jabez that they call honorable was not honorable before. It was a life that caused sorrow. It was a life that grieved people. Anybody that see Jabez that time, they will run away. It was a miserable person. But when he prayed that prayer, they call him Honorable Jabez. God will give you a name that is better than this current name you are bearing in the name of Jesus. God will turn your life around in the mighty name of Jesus and make your life a testimony of everlasting in the name of Jesus. It was not good for Jabez. Even the mother said, this is sorrow. This is pain. This is something that nothing can come out from. But he, he was not the one that created Jabez. It was God. So he turned to God. So, and God turned his life around. It doesn't matter what the enemy has said concerning you. It doesn't matter what your parent has said or your stepmother or your stepfather has said concerning you. It doesn't matter what the situation in the land has said concerning you. It doesn't matter what the country is saying concerning you. What God says concerning you is original. All you need to do is to meet him. I pray for you today that the original purpose of God for your creation will manifest in the name of Jesus. Nothing will turn it around in Jesus' name. What are the keys? Quickly, you need to be born again and remain born again. You need to be born again and remain born again by the way of holiness and righteousness. John chapter 15 verse 5. John 15 5. He said, when you abide in me, you have better results. You have good results. He said, I am divine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If you want to continue to produce results, have answer to all your prayers, remain as branch. Don't claim to be a vine. Remain as what? As a branch. Don't claim to be a vine. Because any brand that claim to be a vine will dry up. He said, without me, you can't do nothing. But with God, you can do everything that God will do. Number two, be ready to give glory to God. Be ready to what? To give glory to God. When answer comes, don't claim that it's your power. Don't claim that uh, you are the one that is doing it. Galatians chapter 1 verse 24. Galatians chapter 1 verse 24. He said, and they glorify God in me. They glorify God in me. That is, 
when they see the blessing of God, now they didn't, I didn't acclaim it, they give glory to God. They will, people will give glory to God and you in the name of Jesus. They will see what God has done in your life and they will praise your God in Jesus' name. Then finally, don't stop praying. Don't what? Don't stop praying. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Luke 18 1. Don't stop praying. Don't say when the result comes. Ah, the result comes. Let me go and relax. Our father in the Lord said there is no spiritual holiday. There is no spiritual holiday. Every day is a work day. Luke 18 1 says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Even when you have gotten the result, pray. Before the result come, continue praying. Because whatever is good need prayer so that it's what? Whatever is not good need prayer so that it will be good. And whatever is good need prayer so that it will, it will not get spoiled. It will not be attacked. Stand on your feet and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank you for the word that he has sent to us. Let's give him praise and bless his holy name. Give him praise and bless his holy name. Say, Father, I thank you for sending your word unto me. To you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father. Say, Father. Every dryness around me terminates it by your rain. In the name of Jesus. Let there be rain that will terminate any form of darkness in my life and in my family. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you dryness. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Second prayer. Say, my Father, my Father, make me fruitful in all areas of life. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray that prayer. I want to be fruitful in body, in soul, in spirit, in the work of my hand, in my ministry. I want to be fruitful. I want to be fruitful. I want my children to be fruitful. I want my wife to be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, fruitfulness, 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 resolve that silence insult, resolve that terminate mocker. Oh Lord, give it to me. 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 Riatosa capaletosa kata. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, my Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. Let there be manifestation of every good prophecy over my life. In the name of Jesus, manifestation. Manifestation of what God has said through his servant in the word of God over my life. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer very well. Manifestation, 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 manifestation of every prophecy, of good prophecy over my life. Every word of God that I've gone ahead over my life, let there be manifestation. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Stretch forth your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, every affliction, infirmity, and disease in the body of anyone, or in the life of anyone, or in the business of anyone, connected and related to him, to this altar, right here in this auditorium, that affliction is terminated in the name of Jesus. That disease disappears in the name of Jesus. Take your healing here now in the name of Jesus. You are free from every form of bondage. Every form of bondage that the enemy has kept you, kept your glory, kept anything that belongs to you, your blessing. Oh yeah, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Today, the Lord turn your miserable, anything come miserable around your life to honorable. In the name of Jesus, every evil name, every negative name that the situation, that personality and principality has named you, that God didn't name you, that name changed today in the name of Jesus. Your name is not barren, it's changed today in the name of Jesus. Your name is not poor, you are changed today in the name of Jesus. Your name is not stagnation, you are changed in the name of Jesus. God change your name to a good name that you will do you desire to be in the name of Jesus. And your original glory, your original destiny, 
begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Lastly, your own prayer request. Just talk to God now in 30 seconds. What you want God to do for you. Your own answer that you are expecting. Talk to God now in 30 seconds. Give him thank him for answer prayer. Give him praise for answer prayer. Bless his holy name for answer prayer. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are favored today in the name of Jesus. What you have not received this week, today you will receive it in the name of Jesus. And anyone you are, you are going to receive on Saturday, on Friday and Saturday, who is going to be a jara in the name of Jesus. Major testimony drop in your hand today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Jam your hands together, give him praise, and please take your seat. Hallelujah. Let's package our offering, our seed, our tithe, and everything we want to give unto God. Let's package them and tag it. My answer has come. I have my answer. I have my answer. Let's tag it because your answer will come in the name of Jesus. Every financial challenge today is converted to miracles in the name of Jesus. And every area of your life that uh, you have been finding it difficult to give glory to God, from now on, you begin to give glory to God in the name of Jesus. If you are here this morning and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, or you are hearing me online, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, just say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. I know I am a sinner, but you are the righteous one. Forgive me all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name from the book of death. In your kingdom, count me worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I pray for you today that the, that the Lord make you his true son and daughter in the name of Jesus. That you never go back to the world in the name of Jesus. The grace to live a holy and righteous life rests upon you now in the name of Jesus. And anytime you call his name, there will be answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You pray that prayer very uh, with us. Immediately after the service, meet us at the altar here. And if you are online, send us a message through the number on the screen. And the Lord, we answer all your prayers in the name of Jesus. Let's be upstanding as we share the grace and fellowship. Remember, today is a Monzion hour by 5.30. Don't miss it for anything. God has said, he says, servant to take us out of the bondage and captivity of the wicked. Because upon Monzion, there shall be deliverance. And on Sunday, there is a... A service called anointing service. And the anointing service is tagged anointing for blessing. The Lord will bless you abundantly this Sunday in the name of Jesus. But you need a part to play. Make sure that you invite as many as possible to that service. And God will answer your prayer and bless you even before the, the service starts in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will bless you even before the start of the service in Jesus' name. So invite your friends and family and the Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, money due continues, and in the midnight, we meet our Father and in the Lord as we prophesy into our life as we enter into Friday. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the offering of your children. I ask that you accept it in the name of Jesus. Bless it and bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. All the tighter life will not be tight for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. At the end of the service, bring it to the altar. And drop it on the altar. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The grace in fellowship. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 2024, my year of new era, my year of new dawn, my year of higher dimensions. These are my persons. Amen. Hallelujah. I have my answer. Say to seven people.